trampolines, driving naked, owning a tank. Shockingly, all these things are legal. So here's a list of five things that should totally be illegal. Number one, selling caffeine to children. Everyone loves drugs, especially children. And no one knows this better than Logan Paul. When he's not promoting crypto scams, Logan can be seen advertising his drink, Prime Hydration. Each 12 ounce can of Prime has 200 milligrams of caffeine. 200! To put that in perspective, that's six times the amount in a can of Coke. F***ing Red Bull only has 114 milligrams. And this guy is allowed to advertise it to children. To children! What does a child even need caffeine for? They can already wake up at 7 a.m. without having the desire to kill their girlfriend. And everyone knows caffeine is both addictive and has withdrawal symptoms. Yet, every scooter mom in Walmart keeps buying it for their kids who idolize someone that dry humps people for a living. I can't wait for Logan's next investment, crystal meth cupcakes. Dude is gonna make a killing at the church bake sale. Number two, child beauty pageants, also known as OnlyFans for pedophiles. For someone who's grown up with the internet, it takes a lot to disgust me, but toddlers and tiaras does it every time. How is putting a push-up bra on a child not f***ing illegal? Seriously, how are these parents rewarded for committing crimes against humanity? This show should rebrand itself as Surprise CPS, where as soon as a parent forces their child into booty shorts, Surprise CPS shows up. I don't even know who the most evil is here. Is it the network for making advertisements of children twerking? Is it the audience who are definitely predators playing pocket pool? Or is it the judges who are scoring the best striptease competition when it's clear the only number they want to give out is their own? Number three, tax exemptions for churches. How many little boys need to get bediddled before we shut down churches? Approximately 5% of all priests are accused of molesting children. If there was a 5% chance you get molested in Target, you'd think twice about getting that Pikachu hoodie. Now, I'm not saying you can't be Christian or Catholic or any other wrong religion. I'm just saying Catholic churches seem to be breeding grounds for pedophiles. Who would have guessed telling a guy he can't have sex than putting him alone in a room with little boys would go off the rails? And if you're a pedo looking for a job, why would you not want to be a priest? You're left alone with impressionable young men, there doesn't seem to be any background checks, and your supervisor never shows up to work. But ignoring all the separation of church and state, why are we giving taxpayer money to the vault police? Is it because some of them are charities? Because the only donation I see is the one Father Cunningham keeps giving to little Billy. Number four, infant circumcision. Why do people still do this? Google tells me it can help reduce bacteria underneath your foreskin, but you know what else can help reduce bacteria? Basic hygiene. How does slicing your Johnson even get started? Like, I've seen some terrible TikTok trends, but this takes the cake. Sex is the best thing that can happen to a guy. That's why a threesome is on every guy's bucket list. Because the only thing better than having sex with one person is having sex with two people. So why would you roll the dice and snip the only thing giving you dopamine? Because you're one handshake away from your parents changing your name from Steve to Stacy. Number five, bribery. I'm sorry, I meant to say lobbying. In America, money can buy anything. A nice car, a girlfriend with no gag reflex, and almost any law you want. You see, giving a congressman money and saying, make me a law that helps my company and, uh, f***s the working man, is illegal. But funding their re-election campaign, totally legal. Companies aren't buying legislation, they're just giving thousands of dollars because... Be because, uh, tits, why are they giving thousands of dollars? Um, I, I guess out of the kindness of their heart? And the point is, it's not related. Also completely unrelated, this video is sponsored by Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield, where a life-saving medication is only a phone call away. Uh, unless you're poor, then sorry, Moocher, <laughs> it's the casket for you. Number six, dumb people having children. How is there no IQ test in order to have children? You need to take a test to drive a car, but not to raise a child? How does that make sense? I'm pretty sure I could do more damage with a kid I never hug, rather than my Prius. There should at least be an interview process where someone looks over your finances and talks to your friends. Hey, where do you think the over-under is that Paul Bediddle's kids? Besides, there's already enough stupid people in the world. We don't need your special needs ass popping out more. Let's agree, there should at least be a limit. There's a show on TLC called Doubling Down Derricos where a couple has 14 kids. 14! That bitch is probably sounds like a windbreaker flapping in the wind. You can't be a good parent to five kids, let alone 14. I hope one of them grows up to be a carpenter. That way they can staple their mom's pussy shut. Number seven, paparazzi. Stalking people is illegal. Unless you're a celebrity, then it's cool. They have more money than us. Uh, don't even view them as people. But nowadays, what even is a celebrity? Everyone makes content. Who isn't making videos exploiting their dog, their kids, or their <laughs> for views? So can you just stalk anyone with a social media account? If so, I'm ready to take down my curtains and show you a helicopter disaster worse than the one that killed Kobe. So those are seven things that should totally be illegal. If I missed any, please let me know down in the comments. And just remember, Logan Paul sells drugs to kids. Mm, you know what you want to do? Oh, you want to push that subscribe button. Oh, push the button. Push the button.